Hi everyone! In this video, we will give a short explanation on how to register new students to ITEL-AM using ITEL-AM's User Management System, UMS. This video will only describe the process of registering new students to the system. Please refer to the separate video if you need to transfer students to the next grade level. Please open your Chrome browser and go to italam.org. When your school registered for ITALAM, you received an email with a UMS pass username and password. This password is for registration purposes only. Enter your username and password. Your screen is now divided into two separate parts. The right-hand side is for re-registering students who were registered in the system last year. We will click on the Start button for new users. You may register multiple users or one student at a time. We will now show how to register multiple users. Download the sample spreadsheet and open it in Excel. You may enter up to 40 users per spreadsheet. If you need to enter more users, please upload a separate spreadsheet. We will open a, a pre-filled spreadsheet. Use Every user is assigned a unique user ID. You may ass assign the user ID based on the IDs in your school data system or any other number and letter combination that works for you. Please note carefully the format instructions written in the header of each column. Grade is the grade that your students are using in ITALAM. English first name and last name, Hebrew first name and last name, Gender, for male or female. Birth date, please note the format of month, date and year. Hebrew birth date is optional. And role is either student or teacher. Email is optional. And finally, the class name. Please be careful to give identical names, identical class names for each student in the class. If there is the smallest difference, the system will create two separate classes. Once the spreadsheet is complete, upload it to the system using the Submit button. Please note that if there are any errors in the spreadsheet, they will appear in red in the lower part of the screen. In this case, you will need to fix the errors in the original spreadsheet and upload it again. In our case, we have invalid birthday format. Hillel Reshef has an invalid format, the slash is the wrong direction, and an invalid role for Gadi Levy. It is defined as M instead of student or teacher. So let's return to our spreadsheet and find here is Gadi Levy. And his role was defined as M instead of S or T. So we will change him to a student. And here is Hilel Reshef. And we will switch the slash. Save the file again and upload it. Click on Submit. Once the file has been successfully uploaded, the system will present a list of all the automatically generated username and passwords. You may export and save the file containing the list of passwords by clicking on Users List. It downloads an Excel file which has all the user IDs, passwords, and usernames of all the students and teachers that you uploaded. 
We have now completed the first step for registering students. In the next step, we will upload the user's photos. As before, you may upload multiple photos at once or upload them one at a time. We will now explain how to upload multiple photos simultaneously. Here are the photos of the students in our class. The file name of the photo for each user must be identical to the user ID that was assigned to that user in the original spreadsheet. So if we refer to the original spreadsheet, we will see that Hadassah Dahan, her user ID is G101. And her photo is named G101. We will now create a zip file of all the students' photos. Here is the zip file and upload the zip file to the system. Click on Submit. If there are any errors, the system will display them in red on the lower half of the screen. We have now finished the second step for registering users. There we are. Thank you. You have successfully uploaded 13 pictures. If you are registering single users or updating your students' details, you may do so through the options on the left-hand side of the screen. Add single user for registering individual users. Edit users for updating details of an existing user. If we click on the pencil, the editing for editing, you may see all of Dina's details and we may also upload a different picture for her. Students rollover for re-registering existing students into the next year. Upload users pictures is what we described above. The class options enable you to create and edit your classes. Just one last remark. If we edit classes, if we click on the class that we created just now, which is Italam Virtuali Bid, you may print out the login cards from the blue button on the top. That's it. Your school is now ready to work with ITELAM. If you need any assistance throughout the process, please do not hesitate to email our support by clicking, by referring to our homepage and clicking on the phone and email button. Enjoy! Good luck!